Are investors still underpricing the Fed? To help us answer that, let's bring in Mark Cabana, Bank of America, Global Research Head of U.S. Rate Strategy. Mark Cabana, what's your answer? Our answer is that the rates market is likely to continue to price in more from the Fed. Look, we heard two important things from Powell yesterday. One, that the Fed is humble. Two, that the Fed is nimble. The Fed is humble because their inflation forecasts have been wrong. The Fed is nimble because they need to be responsive to incoming economic information and they still see risks to the high side on inflation. Therefore, if the rates market prices more from the Fed, is the Fed going to tell the market that it's wrong? No. We think that what's happening right now is that the front end is essentially pricing in as much or it's going to continue to price in as much as it can until it sees a more negative response in broad financial conditions. Essentially the front end of the rates curve is challenging the equity market to let it know how many hikes can you take this year. And right now we're pricing in four and a half, five hikes. We think that the rates market is going to probably keep challenging until you see six or maybe even seven hikes priced this year. And the rates market is essentially testing financial conditions for the Fed. And if financial conditions are okay, and if the rates market gives the Fed to path, uh, a path to hike six or seven times this year, the Fed's going to take it. At least they're not going to tell the market that it's wrong, at least not yet. Powell's humble. He's yep. nimble. And if the rates market gives it to the Fed, they're going to take it. And by the way, that includes the risk of 50 basis points in March. Now, this is not our base case. But if the rates market challenges the Fed and pushes the market to price 50, and if financial conditions adjust to that expectation, the Fed will follow the rates market. Powell didn't take it off the table yesterday. You're not going to hear any Fed official do that. They're waiting to see what the rates market will do. And that's why we're telling clients, look, stay underweight the front end. Keep paying July FOMC OIS, December FOMC OIS. Heck, you might even try and challenge the Fed to 50 in March. But you want to stay underweight. And that just means that this curve okay. is going to keep flattening. You're going to see the front end sell off. And you're going to see higher overall rates, especially at the front end of the curve.